pretty much over. I love Tema with, from the bottom of my heart. I always have, and I will continue to, no matter what she needs. David Adefiso is addressing his high-profile split from Tamar Braxton and his request for a restraining order. I will not speak out, speak out ill against somebody I love so much. I've always loved. David started his YouTube Live on Wednesday by addressing the issue of mental health in America. First of all, I, I'd like to say that mental health is real. It's really real. We should be able to talk about it openly and not consider it to be a stigma. It is not a stigma. One thing we can't forget, however, is the impact on the family. Um, it's hard, but uh, it's important that we continue to stand by and support people who have mental health. In August, Tamar credited David with saving her life in an emotional Instagram post after he found her unresponsive in July at the Ritz-Carlton residences in downtown LA where they were staying. And what's the emergency? Uh, my girlfriend is not responding. Are you with her right now? Yes. The 43-year-old singer was rushed to the hospital and was later transferred to another hospital facility in L.A. to receive more specialized mental health treatment from top specialists. Fast forward to Tuesday, and David filed for a domestic violence restraining order against Tamar. And in his YouTube Live, he confirmed their relationship is over. I love Tamar with my entire heart. I loved her from day one with my entire heart. My heart, my body, my soul, my spirit. I loved her with everything I had. And I stood by her through thick and thin. I went to bat for my girl, as a man should, no matter what. And I'll continue to do it today. Um, I'll continue to stand by Tamar no matter what. The 49-year-old businessman then alleged that he was a victim of domestic abuse and claimed that Tamar assaulted him. I will never, never bring myself to, to attack Tamar, somebody I've spent so long with. I never will. It's just not something I will do. I'll speak the truth. Here's the truth. I've been a victim of domestic violence, domestic assault. I, uh, I was attacked. David claims he was driving at a high speed when he was unexpectedly hit in the neck by Tamar, leaving him disoriented, scared, and confused. David says that after the alleged attack, he was being secretly recorded and claims Tamar taped his reaction to being hit and sent it to his family and friends. In addition to all that, he says the incident in question led him to crashing his Rolls Royce, causing $30,000 in damages. And David says the altercation was his basis for requesting a restraining order. He further addresses and denies accusations of physically abusing Tamar, which he says have been leveled against him by unnamed parties. ET has reached out to Tamar for comment. I have never, ever, ever, and never will, ever put my hand on a woman, ever. I grew up in a household. Uh, my parents were together for 50 years and my mom and dad were the most loving and kind couple to each other. I didn't grow up in that environment. I never, ever laid a hand on Tamar Braxton or any woman in my entire life. But we haven't heard Tamar's side and a source is telling The Blast that the domestic violence actually went the other way. The source says it was David who caused the car accident. He has yet to respond to the site's report. After Tamar's hospitalization, David spoke out publicly about her condition, explaining that she had been struggling with depression. Quote, please continue to send prayers and hope as Tamar continues the path to recovery and ultimate happiness.